Hello everyone, Brian from Crary. Today we're gonna to be installing a big top hopper extension on a new John Deere combine. Probably take between two and three hours depending on how familiar you are with the system. Basic tools for the assembly we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna need uh, wrench sets, standard and metric. Uh, you're gonna need a drill, some drill bits, uh, quarter inch Allen wrench, and just some impact sockets. We're gonna go just right through the manual. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna to put together uh, the front and rear panel assemblies. So we are now installing the pulley assembly onto the main bracket panel. So just take a couple of bolts, throw that in there, and tighten everything down. It's a little bit tight in there. And then you're not messing around with this on top of the combine where there's just less room to work. We've done the first one on the other panel. This one we're gonna mount right up to here like we did on the other panel. And now we're gonna take these pieces and they are gonna mount to right there. This, this bracket, um, the clip for the cable assembly will clip in through here and it is a quick release so that when you crawl in and out of the combine or in and out of the hopper, um, it's easier and it's not as large of a step. When putting this together, you're gonna to wanna to do this shoulder bolt here first for your roller right here to pull this in nice and tight. Otherwise, as you can see, it's kind of a little bit angled. So I'm gonna loosen these up, do that shoulder bolt first. Next thing we're gonna do, and this is where it differs, differs depending on your model, your combine. Some combines have fiberglass front and rear panels. Some have steel. Um, the combine we're working today is steel, so you just have to make sure you pay attention to the placement of these side brackets, so which hole we're using to install the front and rear panel assembly. All right, we have this lower bracket for the lower portion of the cable. This gets installed per the instructions on the bottom of this linkage. So we will be drilling holes and installing that down there. So to mount these brackets on the inside here, we're gonna measure 16 inches down and put a mark. And that is where the top of that bracket will be mounted. We're going to repeat that same step we did for this bracket on the front. So this is our front panel okay. um, and the distinction between the front and rear panel is the front does not have the serial number, the rear does. So what you can do to keep this up and out of your way while you're mounting is take Allen's wrench and there's two bolts or two holes right here. You can just put it in there and it'll hold it in place for you. While he's working on the camera bracket, we're gonna take this cable Run it right down underneath everything through here. And we're gonna put it right through this bracket down below. Um, since I'm by myself on this side, I removed the, the pin in the top to give me enough room for the cable. So I'm gonna take, I've got one nut on this side and I'm gonna put the other nut on this side. And then I'm gonna leave this loose so that I can connect back up here and then make sure my tension is good. Right now we're 
putting the, the bolts through the brackets and through the pre-drilled holes that we put in the, uh, the rear. We're gonna get these set. We're gonna tighten these five down and then we're gonna loosely put the top OEM nuts back on. Next part is the side sandwich brackets on the side panels. First thing we gotta do is replacing these brackets up here, mm -hmm. like that. So we need to drill some holes. It's gonna be 1375 from the from outside either. edge. Yep. Cut. 13 and 3 quarter. So this is the one, the probably the finicky part of this installation. Um, when placing the whole bracket up on top of the side of the side panel, um, we you, we give a dimension in the instruction manual, but you're going to want to check that. So what we did was we mocked it loosely up. Um, there's quite a bit of adjustment here, so we mocked it up and then placed our bracket based on the mock-up. And we're going to do that on all four corners. <laughs> We've got the main portion of the hopper extension installed um, that will be on this combine that will be the front and rear, including the canvas corners. Now we are going to move to upgrading the hopper linkage cylinder. So that is located in the engine compartment. We are going to re be replacing the hopper linkage cylinder, which is located right down there. We are upgrading that to a larger cylinder for better functionality with the addition of the we'll big top the hopper extension. Exact. When you are installing the cylinder, that does cause you to break hydraulic lines, so you're going to have to cycle the cylinder a couple of times just to make sure you get all of the air out of that line. So open and close the hopper a few times, make sure the action is smooth. There is a possibility you will need to recalibrate your sensors in your John Deere combine controls. Consult your owner's manual on how to do that or contact your local dealer for advice on how to recalibrate should that be necessary. Thank you for watching our video on how to install the Prairie Big Top Hopper extension.